Linda Ikeji's Dark October, which chronicles the infamous Alu Four Boys tragic incident, which happened in Port in 2012, is now streaming on Netflix, and we bring you a review of it. The film, directed by Toka Magbaro and produced by blogger Linda Ikeji, dramatized a depiction of a true event that shows the horrors of extrajudicial murder and why mob justice should never prevail over legal justice. The film opens with a shot of a half-naked man who has been beaten up badly. He is disoriented, heavily injured with blood oozing from his wounds and looks scared. It is a haunting shot that makes viewers realize the gravity of the incident the film is trying to portray. But the film doesn't jump into the point about jungle justice it is trying to make right away. It first builds up the four characters who were involved in the lynching. All of them are college students who dream of being world famous rappers. In fact, the movie dedicates a good chunk of its runtime familiarizing the audience with the dreams and hopes of these innocent boys. It's bittersweet because we know what's coming, but that's not it. The film doesn't skimp out on showing the relationships these characters have with each other and with other people in their lives. We witness the deep friendships and the conflicts they have with others regarding their schoolwork and dreams of being musicians. Also, the movie makes the core conflict clear from the get-go. We are told that Uche Nawa went to London and brought back jeans and sneakers sold them to Wisdom. But the latter didn't pay Uche Nawa, so the four head up to Wisdom's place to get the money. The first time they head there, two of them are warned about the perilous social situation of the area. So the boys hire a bodyguard and head to Wisdom's place in the early hours of the day to get their money. But things take a wrong turn in the dangerous community where wisdom leaves and the four of them get accused of theft. The people living there are incensed and no one believes the boy's narrative. Gradually, the situation escalates further and ends in mob justice as a herd of men brutally kills the students. The camera doesn't shy away from showing the extreme violence inflicted on the boys. We see the blood, gore, wounds and humiliation the student faced in crystal clarity. Dark October is a haunting portrayal of real life events where four innocent boys lost their lives. While it does feel that the film simplifies the circumstances and incidents, the message about extrajudicial killing still works. The production was tight, however, the background music wasn't very loud in some of the scenes. The acting performance of the characters wasn't that fantastic. Well, what did we expect? Many of the characters aren't known faces, however, they tried their best way in bringing their roles to life. By the way, we loved how the actors who played the ill-fated quartet shared a striking resemblance with the real-life victims, and the producer, Linda Ikeji, deserves recognition for attention to detail in the timing of each event in real time and the overall plot coherence.